Hey guys, it's me Christine and today I'm gonna try making nails on a mat. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go over either, but Uber Chic reached out to me recently and sent over all this stuff and seduced me with hollow glitter and I was like, okay. Uber Chic is an indie stamping plate company that started about a year ago and they also sell some other nail art stuff, but their biggest product is the Uber mat, which apparently they invented after ruining furniture. So now that I know how to stamp, well, sort of. Let's play with Uber Chic stampers and plates. But first, it's experiment time on this mat thing because I gotta figure out how the hell to use it first before I show you how to use it. Look, you can use it to test color combos, although I always know that any hollow color combination is a good one because it's hollow and there's rainbows. And you can use the Uber mat to make drag marble decals or decals, de decals, decals, decals. Decals, I, whatever, I don't care how you say it. But it's like all those Russians you see doing this, except we need to do it on a mat multiple times to practice. Clearly, I don't know what these patterns are supposed to be, but I never said I was trying to do anything that looked good. But you get the point of how you can use this mat. Then you would just peel them off when they're dry, and oops, I think this is why you're supposed to put a top coat down first on the mat, yeah. All right, let's experiment with something else. How about some stamping? Look, I have excellent aptitude, and this time I put a top coat down first. Well, now I'm kind of making a big mess all over my mat, but it's fine, because it's not on my table. It's on my mat, and I'll clean it up easily soon. Just wait. So after I've scraped and stamped my stamping plate, I take the stamper and roll the head over the top coat on the mat. And now you can create a little canvas space just for yourself to fill in the stamping spaces with different color hollows. This technique is called advanced or reverse stamping and I'm just using a small dotting tool to fill in the flower petals. You could also use a small paintbrush. I'm lazy and I'm not cleaning my tool in between colors but I'm just wiping it off on the mat because I don't care you'll see soon how it's really easy to clean up. This is almost as fun as filling out all those Sailor Moon coloring books I used to do when I was a child. When you're done and it's all dry about 10 to 15 minutes peel it up very gently. See how the top coat lifts so nice? See why you need a top coat? It's so necessary. Flip it over and there's your DIY decal, yes! Don't worry guys, the hollow isn't gone. Once you put it on your nail and then add a top coat, the hollow order of the universe is restored. But I didn't put this on my nail because that was just for fun, along with all these other experiments that I did that didn't work out too well. And now I've got a mess all over my mat, but what do I do? Not that much actually, it's super easy to clean. Just peel up any large pieces of dried polish and then take some acetone or nail polish remover and just wipe away the rest of it with a cotton soaked pad. The Uber mat is completely resistant to acetone and nail polish remover. Now if only my house were this easy to clean. Okay, let's begin for real. We're gonna make these nails now. I start off by applying top coat down on the mat in five different spaces I'm gonna do for each of my five nails. But if you're a normal person, then you probably wanna plan for 10 nails. Then I just take some black stamping polish, this one's from Mexico, and I'm pretty sure it's car paint, and scrape it over the plate using an Uber Chic credit card like thingy. I'm pretty sure this is the XL sticky stamper head by Uber Chic that I'm using because it's kind of sticky. But what the hell do I know about stamping? I don't know shit. All I know is that right away I had to roll the stamper over the top coat on my mat and then look at all of my creations. Next I take some sheer jelly polish and I'm just gonna make a very sheer blend with green on one side and red on the other cause Christmas is soon. These are definitely like the kind of nails you would wear to one of those upscale dinner parties that your boyfriend stuck up parents are hosting at the country club you know. Like the opposite of an ugly Christmas sweater party. Oh yeah I have nails I almost forgot. Let's paint them. I'm just using some OPI silver chrome polish as a base because I'm gonna cover it in silver hollow glitter. This is Uber Chic's VIP list silver holographic glitter dust, but I really wanted to use the black hollow one, but I knew that it wouldn't work with the black stamping. In any case, just dump your hollow glitter over top of your wet polish and use a fan brush to lightly brush it off your finger. Glitter may get everywhere, but when life gives you glitter, make glitter coke lines. And be sure to split it with your friends because after all, the holiday season is the time of giving. Here you go, friends. Sniff up. You're welcome. I just cleaned up the Coke party with the Uber Chic credit card thing and my fan brush and put it back into the container for next time. 
Okay, back to things on the mat. Peel off your self-made decals carefully, and then the idea is that you're gonna stick these on your nail over top of the glitter, so that the glitter shows through the clear part of the jelly thingy. You could just stick this massive piece right over your nail and then cut around the edges and dissolve more of the edges with acetone, but I prefer to cut it out beforehand as close as possible to the shape of my nail before sticking it on, mostly because I still can't find those magical Russian scissors. Just take some top coat or clear nail polish and put it on your nail to make it wet so that the decal will stick. Then just press the decal down gently all around your nail. To quote unquote seal the edges, you just take a clean up brush dipped in acetone and gently press around the edges of the nail. Add a final glossy top coat to bring out all that hollow sparkle under the jelly decal and bam! This is the most elegant and sophisticated my nails have been since ever. Well that was pretty easy and awesome, right? There's so many possibilities with this mat. You can find the stamping and glitter products and the Uber mat that I used in this video at Uber Chic's website. I put the link down below and don't forget you can use my code simply for 10% off your entire order. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. Bye. Hello, bye.